<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to tell y'all exactly why Democrats hate the black people. And I'm going to tell you not just necessarily why they hate you, but what they have done to show that they hate you. 1964, Dr. Martin Luther King convinced Lyndon Johnson to sign the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Desegregation, minority benefits. It created a caste system of minorities and majorities. Anybody who were a white people, a white man is now considered a minority. Prior to that, America was divided into two parts separate but equal whites and blacks now blacks are just at the bottom of all other minorities 1965 immigration reform act of 1965 1990 1990 senator ted kennedy introduced no 1989 ted kennedy introduced legislation for immigration reform, which was later signed in 1990 by George H. Walker Bush. Let's look at this act. Uh, immigration Act of 1990, signed into law by H.W. Herbert Walker Bush on November 29, 1990. And this is probably why W. Bush lost because what this act did was it allowed 1 million legal alien, illegal immigrants to enter into the United States per year. Also, since 1990 to, 19, to 2024, that is 34 years. So this allowed 34 million immigrants to enter the United States legally which is equivalent to the black population. Let's read what this law says. Signed into law by George W. H. W. Bush. It was first introduced by Senator Kennedy. Ted Kennedy was, let's look what he was. Uh, was an American lawmaker who served as a United States Senator from Massachusetts, close to Biden a member of the Democratic Party. A Democrat introduced this legislation. What this legislation do? It was a national reform of the Immigration and Nationality Act of 1965. It increased total overall immigration to allow 700,000 immigrants to come to the United States per year for the fiscal year years 1992 to 1994 and 675 per year after that it provided a family-based immigration visa created five distinct employment-based visas categorized by occupation and diversity visa program that created a lottery to admit immigrants from low admitted countries or countries whose citizens was underrepresented in the United States. Besides these immigrant visas, there were also changes to, to non-immigrant visas like the H-1B visa for highly skilled workers. There were also cutbacks in the allotment of visas available for extended relatives, cutbacks, for visas available for so if an African come here and marry a black woman and get a green card, he could bring his whole family in. Congress also also for Mexicans, all they gotta do is come marry a black person. Or if they get this is like getting a green card, but you know if a person just become a citizen, they could bring as an immigrant, they could bring in their whole families. Congress also created the temporary protected status visa which the attorney general may provide to immigrants who are temporarily unable to safely return to their home country because of ongoing conflict, armed conflict. So if you're a refugee, you get a visa. An environmental disaster or other extraordinary and temporary conditions. It specifically benefited citizens of El Salvador. 
a Latino country. Yeah. The act also lifted the English testing process for naturalization that had been imposed in the National Naturalization Act of 1906 for permanent residents who are over 55 and have been living in the United States for 15 years as a permanent. So if you ain't even learned English in 15 years, what you still here for? And eliminated exclusion of homosexuals under the medically unsound classification of sexual deviant that was in the 1965 act. He went those deviancy in the 1965 act. George H.W. Bush is quoted as saying, I am also pleased to note that the act facilitates immigration, not just in numerical terms, but also in terms of basic entry rights of those beyond our borders. Now, this is what a Republican president signed into law with the uh, a law that was created by a Democrat, Irish Kennedy. And this law particularly destroyed the black people, the people, the black citizens of the United States, because Bush lost to Bill Clinton. But Bill Clinton created the 94 crime bill. crime bill hold on he created the 94 crime bill violent crime control and law enforcement act which uh provided 9.7 billion dollars in funding for prisons which were designed with a significant input from experienced police officers. So he created, uh, he, he invested $10 billion. Another Irish dude, uh, George, I mean, uh, J Biden, Joe Biden, because when they, when they brought in 700,000 immigrants from other countries, when this, with this, uh, immigration reform act of 1990, they wanted to replace the black people with these new, newly coming migrants, immigrants, so they they systematically created prisons and uh, a, a culture of crime and disinvestment and poverty in a black community that allowed that facilitated the uh, removal removal of a large amount of black men into prisons while they was bringing in these immigrants from other countries, and this was signed into law by a Democrat president and a Democrat senator. But when they brought in these immigrants they give thanks to that law, to that reform, to a Republican president, W. Bush, H. W. Bush. So most of those immigrants that come in based on that law are Republicans. So they're replacing the black people with these newly coming uh, immigrants, legal immigrants, which accounted for like 34 million by now. They didn't increase the uh, Democrat votes because a Republican president signed that law, even though it was introduced by a Democrat Irish uh, from Massachusetts, Ted Kennedy. Bill Clinton created the crime bill to eradicate and de destroy the black population. Where they, where they uh, created this criminal culture, crime culture, black, black men being murdered by the tens of thousands every year. We have been totally replaced by African men Hispanic men, men from all over the world who have no affinity, no connection to our history. But thank Bush, W. Bush, for signing the law that the Democrats imposed. And now you look at the uh, black population because the Democrats wants the black woman to get these abortions, to, to uh, exterminate our children. They don't want our children to grow. They don't want our children to be alive. They want us to be totally eradicated. And they have succeeded to an extent because most of these black women are infertile they can no, no longer have children they have they have failed for the idea of feminism women's liberation of the 1970s getting a career was more important than having a family and getting married so therefore we had a precipice uh yeah the black man has to make a decision we have to continue to 
populate our civilization, our genetic makeup. And the black women are totally against that objective because they have been indoctrinated by the Democrat Party to exterminate the babies. And also we have been totally replaced by migrants because the reason they're bringing in these migrants now illegally because the legal immigration migrants, they are not really Republic. They are not Democrats because they thank w, uh, H, H. Walker Bush for that Immigration Reform Act of 1990 that brought in million, a million people every year and also allows for families, chain migration of family members. So all they got to do is get citizenship and bring in their whole family. So we have now been overwhelmed. The population of migrants since 1990 is, pro is perhaps bigger than the population of black Americans, totally. And these people were given the same minority rights, so-called minority rights that was supposed to benefit black people, affirmative action rights. And in many cases, they are given those rights before the so-called black people. It's as though 20 dogs is eating on the same bone. They come into America because they're not white men because of the Civil Rights Act of 1965, they're considered minorities. So they get the benefit off of the so-called minority set-asides that should have been only available to the uh, descendants of black slave people. But now all of these immigrants from other countries is coming to a, the United States solely to get those minority benefits. And in many cases, they're getting those minority benefits and the black people are not getting any benefits. That's why the poverty rate is growing, prison rate, crime rate is growing. You know, the uh, disenfranchisement, illegitimate uh, homes, illegitimate children, uh, They because they claim the black man don't have economic opportunities outside of crime. This was all done by two, uh, two Democrat senators, Ted Kennedy and George uh, uh, Joe Biden, Bill Clinton. And now you look at Joe Biden and Barack Obama. Barack Obama did DACA to legalize illegal aliens because the illegal aliens that they let in illegally can thank the Democrats. They bring in 30, 20, 30, 40, 50 million of them. They totally can replace the black vote. Now that they don't need you no more. They already never liked you. The Democrat Party since the Civil War, antebellum South has been perpetuating slavery. After Reconstruction, they perpetuated Jim Crow, burning down our uh, cities, lynching, abortions, poverty, and mass immigration. So we, the black men, can compete with all the men of the entire world, and also. The black men were not allowed to benefit from the GI Bill, which was imposed after the uh, World War II that gave ex-soldiers, veterans, free housing, business loans, the upper hand. In the, a black, the black man was never given any assistance to elevate by the United States ever. Not in the history of this country. So that's why we're in this position right now. And that's why I'm saying the Democrat Party hates black people.